Yeah, I mean, looking forward, I mean, I think there's a few things that would make the, the sport really, really develop. I mean, we need to look at what's going on in Europe. I mean, if, if there's a race out there this weekend, part of the World Championship. There's 40 supercars there. You know, we have 12 here this weekend, or is it 14? So, you know, it would be good if we can see another half dozen or eight cars come over. So we have a, a bit more excitement. You know, there, there's a, a definite feeling of pressure of needing to do well in, in the heats and then the you know the, the semi-finals and then getting into the, the final so you know people really have that fear of going home so it raises the competition um, you know and have, bringing in a couple more teams and maybe another manufacturer would, would really energize it and we know that there are other manufacturers looking at TRC because what they're seeing is the demographic they're seeing the people that you know they're the next generation of car buyers and they cannot ignore them and the next generation of car buyer wants something different from what maybe you or I wanted 20 years ago. So they've got, you know, different needs, different desires, and, and, and people are having a, a hard job making cars sexy these days. You know, they've become a bit of a commodity. And, and what Volkswagen has really recognized is, you know, the Beetle has had perhaps a little bit of a soft image in the past, maybe geared too closely to the female audience. But if they can use GLC, to create a, a, a bit more of a macho image for the Beetle, then that expands their market. And that, you know, ultimately, if they're successful doing that, that's car sales, and then that's money back into motorsport, and hopefully with GRC. And I, I think the, the, what they've created with the GRC format, you know, bringing it to the, the big cities, and if we can expand to have maybe a calendar, perhaps two or three more rounds, a few more of the major cities across the United States, um, it's just going to make it bigger and bigger. I mean, it's almost already got a tremendous following on social media, and uh, you know the TV package is strong. So, if we keep building it, we bring sponsors in, exciting sponsors. I mean, if you look at the sponsors we have here, whether it's what Andretti has with Rockstar with Seven Up, or some of the other people involved, you know, they are sponsors that everybody in this paddock has heard of. Whereas, I think if you look in some of the other formulas, you know, even IndyCar that we know and love. They're not necessarily household names that you're looking at. So, you know, it's it's about engaging the fan and getting more excitement. I mean, you know, we're, we're listening to the guys across the way with the, the music that's been playing all day long. And, you know, by 10 o'clock at night, you're kind of sick of it. But <laughs> it, it's fun, you know, it creates that party atmosphere. And we have to remember motor racing at the end of the day is entertainment. And, uh, you know, whilst it's, it's cool cars and it's engineering and all the rest of it, ultimately we need to entertain people and if we fail to do that then we all fail so you know i think this is where we're going in the future you know the cars will evolve you know the car is a star but i think the drivers are the bigger stars and we need to remember that and what we need to do is to create a platform for the driver to become the one that everybody's focused on too many of these series focus on you know the car they're driving they focus a little bit on the technology but a lot of that is lost on you know, 90% of the people that are sat in the grandstand. So, you know, I, I think we're making steps in the right direction. Um, you know, Volkswagen for sure is very engaged in what's going on and the, the competition with the other manufacturers that we have here is, is exciting. Um, you know, we'd like, with, uh, you know, our own aspirations within Andretti is perhaps to have another car uh, for next year. So it's a three car team, brings in another driver. How we do that, you know, is, to be discussed but you know we may even bring do that as early as Vegas and have perhaps run a third car there maybe with one of our IndyCar stars so you know it could be could be something different for us you know Andretti we have a family of drivers you know and yes they have a specific role you know we have IndyCar guys we have GLC guys we have Formula E guys but we are able to switch them across programs where necessary so it, it for us, it gives us that flexibility, and I think you know the fans would love to see you know a guy that's been a big name driver in in another series, perhaps come in for a guest appearance over here. So you know this is the kind of thing that we're looking at—a little bit of diversification—and it just makes it more exciting for everybody.